Hi, I'm Maureen Xavier and welcome to Doorway to Wellness. Today's show is entitled Nutritional Cleansing, A Closer Look. Today we're going to be looking at some key health challenges and their causes and a possibility for how uh, we could, you could naturally help the body support itself in a way that it works in the way, in, as a miracle as it is intended to be. I'm really excited about today's show and especially excited about our guest, Dr. David Kamnitzer. Dr. David Kamnitzer is a holistic doctor. He's been in practice for over 25 years. He's an expert in nutritional cleansing. He's traveled around the United States sharing about the miracle of nutritional cleansing with others and he's used it in his private practice for seven years. Thank you so much for being with us today, Dr. David. My pleasure. So today I would, I would like to give the viewer, like we said, a, a closer look at nutritional cleansing. And I'm curious to start off with, what originally got your attention about nutritional cleansing? Well, Maureen, it's a great question, but I'm wondering if I could start out by maybe taking a step back, because there may be some viewers that didn't see the first show we did sure. on nutritional cleansing, and just give a little bit of uh, context so that some of the viewers aren't lost. That would be fine. Okay. So maybe we can start out by talking about what nutritional cleansing is. And nutritional cleansing is a kind of an idea whose time has come, and it's a technology where what we're doing is we're taking the best of what we now, now know in nutritional science and blending it with what we know now about how to safely and effectively help the body to eliminate toxins and impurities from the body and to be able to do, two, do those two things at the same time in what we call a synergistic way. In other words, to be able to provide the nutrition that the body needs so that it can safely and effectively get the toxins and impurities out of the body. Uh, you know, we've been, people have known about nutrition for a long time, people have known, have known about cleansing for a long time, but because of the various kinds of stresses in our lives today, it turns out that if you bring those two technologies together with the breakthroughs that we've had over the last 10, 20 years in those technologies, and you do it in an orchestrated synergistic fashion, you can get results in terms of enhanced well-being that were just unheard of before maybe 10 years ago when nutritional cleansing really hit the scene. And I know the reason we're both here today is because of the impact nutritional cleansing has had in our own lives and in our families and our friends and in my case, my patients. And, you know, I've literally seen thousands of people with all sorts of different health challenges or people even who just wanted to increase their performance, focus, concentration, uh, just take their whole their wellness to a whole other level with this technology that's called nutritional cleansing. And so I just wanted to frame our conversation so that people, some people wouldn't be completely lost. Thank you, I appreciate that. Where do you want to go from here with the conversation? So it, you, you gave a lot of a variety of examples about people who use this to, in order to enhance their health. Has there been anybody in particular that really caught your attention that you've worked with personally? Well, I tell the story again that I told on the first show we did about nutritional cleansing about what really was a big wake-up call for me. I would say there were two things that were going on. I had just turned 50 and I was kind of starting to feel my age. I was feeling a little achy, like I was maybe losing my edge a little bit. And I didn't like that feeling. I had put on some extra weight. And then um, as a doctor, my commitment is to ongoing excellence, to becoming a better and better doctor. And one of the ways that I'm kind of challenged to do that is with the small percentage of the patients that maybe aren't getting the results that we expect. And so I had one patient that I'll call Mary, who I'd had for quite a few years, and she had reached a plateau, maybe even was going downhill in her health a little bit, and I had done everything I knew how to do, but there was something that was missing, and I knew there was something missing, but I didn't know what it was. And so I'd made a decision that the next time I saw Mary, I was going to tell her that, hey, we either need to do something else or I need to refer you out or something because something's not working here. 
and I didn't see her for like six weeks. And then she came back and I literally had to do a triple take. Like I didn't recognize her. She looked like 12 to 15 years younger. She'd lost a lot of weight. Her, the whites of her eyes were really white. She seemed vital, alive, really present. And to make a long story short, I said, what happened? And what happened was that someone, she'd met someone who had shared with her about nutritional cleansing and had made sure that she was guided effectively through the first 30 days of her nutritional cleansing journey. And that was a sort of a jaw dropper for me. I had heard about nutritional cleansing a few years back, but at that time, it was the science was in its infancy, and uh, there was just one type of cleanse that was pretty rigorous and maybe wouldn't have been appropriate for some of my patients, and so I'd kind of just put that information on the back burner. But by the time Mary nutritionally cleansed, there was a lot more that was known about nutritional cleansing. There was a lot more different kinds of cleanses, some more challenging than others to the point where just about everybody, or a large percentage of the population, could safely do some kind of nutritional cleanse. And so that really caught my eye. I decided to guinea pig myself. I got great results, started my family, my friends, other patients. Mm -hmm. And then I started to really look around at the literature in terms of people that were really studying this carefully. I started to examine real world results. And, um, you know, I kicked the tires, and the more I kicked the tires, the more I realized that this was a whole new ball game. This mm. was a whole new possibility for wellness that really hadn't been anchored onto the planet before like 10 years ago. Mm. And I know the reason we're doing these shows is because it's still kind of a best kept secret kind of a thing. Yeah, it sounds like Mary was really blessed by, um, by this product system. It, and it, from my experience is there's so many people out there right now that kind of deal with being tired, being sick, sometimes being on prescription medicine that really don't want to be. Um, it seems like we're, as a society, are dealing with more and more health challenges than we were before. Is there something about the way we live now that contributes to that? There's a lot of things about, about our current reality that definitely contributes to uh, making it much harder to just sort of naturally be healthy if you just kind of go through your life without thinking about it. Like, mm. you know, 50 years ago, people could kind of like naturally go through their life and not think much about their level of health. In fact, most people only thought about their level of health like 50 years ago, like if they broke their bone or if they had a fever or mm. something like that, or they had some really serious mm. disease. But you know now, everybody's thinking about it, and it's a really different ballgame. You know, the quality of the air, the quality of the water, the quality of the food, the amount of information overload, the amount of uh, radiation, background radiation we're exposed to, the quality of the food that we're eating, the quality of the soil that the food is grown in, uh, the financial situation that we're dealing with in our society right now, the fact that so many structures and institutions are breaking down, uh, the fact that we have a more sedentary lifestyle, many more people are spending much more time indoors, out, not getting oxygen, not getting direct sunshine. There's so many factors that are contributing to chronic stress. And without getting into detail on the physiology and the neurology of chronic stress, Suffice it to say that the way we were created to function, we weren't created to have chronic stress. The way we were created to function is that most of the time we'd be pretty relaxed and then we'd have short periods of intense stress. So for example, uh, our, our, our ancestors our, who are nomads, for example, hunter-gatherers, you know, they would kick back and relax for a few days and then there'd be a lion. And then there'd be a stressful situation, and the hunters would either have to run away from the lion, or they'd have to mobilize their energies to kill the lion, or they'd be killed by the lion. But one way or the other, there was a controlled stress, and then for a couple more days, two, three more days, they'd be pretty relaxed. And so we evolved as a physical species to function best that way. But what's happening now is with all the kinds of stresses that we talked about, 
and you combine it with the mind of modern man and the lifestyle where we can be thinking about all these things that maybe might not even happen, but we're afraid of could happen, combined with all the other things that I mentioned, and the fact that the subconscious mind will respond to our fears about what could happen just like it was happening, you combine that with all the things I mentioned earlier, and now you have a situation where you've got people under chronic stress. And when people are under chronic stress, sooner or later, their systems of their body, especially their immune systems, their hormonal systems, they're going to start to break down. And it turns out that when you have that kind of chronic stress, the answers that the Western medical model has for that is not very good. Mm. So that kind of creates an opening, that breakdown in the Western medical model to be able to address the challenges we're facing today as a, as a society or a civilization. That breakdown is an opportunity for some kind of a new innovation and some kind of a breakthrough. In fact, for many innovations and breakthroughs, and nutritional cleansing is one of the most powerful innovations and breakthroughs I've seen in my 25 years as a holistic doctor. So what is it about the combination of the nutrition and the cleansing that actually allow our body to better deal with chronic stress? Is it, is it possible to do Be that in layman's terms? Yeah, because what happens is once you're under chronic stress, things start to snowball where what happens is part of the reason our, we're under chronic stress is because of lousy nutrition mm. and because of the buildup of toxicity. Oh. So the nice thing about nutritional cleansing is that it's addressing two of the major stress causes of the stress. So that's really cool. And then in addition to that, there's this ripple effect that occurs that once the physical body biochemically starts to balance out because of better nutrition and getting the toxins out of the body and to be able to do that in a way where the caloric intake is moderate, what happens is we get a situation in the physical body biochemically which then starts to promote an enhancement in someone's ability to think clearly, for their moods to be more stable, then people feel better and then they want to go outside and exercise and get some fresh air and to start moving their body. Maybe they start feeling like getting more involved in their life and they start making some new connections in their community. And so there's this ripple effect. So it's a very high leverage point of intervention into the multidimensional system of a human being because you're, you're doing two things at once. You're, one, you're addressing directly some of the causes of the chronic stress, but then indirectly, because you've done that, it starts to snowball into other areas of who you are as a person, and then your ability to handle stress really takes off rapidly. And so, you know, that's a very concentrated answer to a complicated question, but I think the viewers, I think yourself yeah, got yeah. an idea very, there. Very, very understandable, very clear. I appreciate that. Yeah. You know what I'd like to be able to do is give the viewer kind of a picture. If, you know, it's like, wow, the information you're sharing with me sounds like I want to run out right now and, and do it. I'd like, to, um, I'd like to be able to share with the viewer, it's like, what, what is involved in starting a nutritional cleansing program? What, is that re what would that really okay. look like in somebody's day? Sure. Do you want to give me a little reality reference here, point how much time we have left? We have um, about 13 minutes left total show. Great, great. I'll try to keep that in mind. So first of all, you kind of have to decide whether you can do a nutritional cleanse or not, whether it's safe, appropriate. And so I would say, unless you're pregnant, in, unless you're maybe like under five or six years old, we now have at least some type of nutritional cleanse that would be appropriate for you. So let's say that you fall into that category, that some nutritional cleanse would be appropriate for you. Then the next question is to work with someone that's knowledgeable in this area to make a decision about exactly what nutritional cleanse you want to do. We have cleanses that are very, very mild and slow and just gradually get people into upgrading their bodies. And then we have ones that are pretty steep and we have everything in between. So a lot of that depends on your current level of health, 
your current motivation, uh, your discipline level, how fast you want to change. So there's a lot of factors involved. So the first thing to do is to find somebody to help you through this and then to decide what kind of a cleanse you want to do. And then if you're on medications that might need to be adjusted while you're cleansing, to establish a relationship with a physician that's willing to monitor you because your medication needs could change. So for example, especially if you take medicine that has to do with hormonal balancing or blood pressure balancing or um, medicine that has to do with how thick your blood is uh, or your blood sugar level. See, what happens is once people start nutritionally cleansing, they, their body gets empowered again. And most people will start to discover an ability to create greater balance. And so if their body is healing and balancing, but their medication levels in these areas are not being adjusted, they could be overly medicated. So those are, I would say, foundational points. Then once you get to that level, assuming that they've decided on one cleanser or another, almost all cleanses, depending on the level of what we call gradient, how challenging it is and how comprehensive it is, they'll at least involve some type of product that's designed to give you all the nutrition you need easily, quickly, in a way that's tasty, that's low calorie. And there'll be some kind of a liquid product, or sometimes in a powder, that will give your body what it needs to be able to safely begin to eliminate toxins and impurities. So there's going to be at least two foundational products in any type of a cleanse. And we can vary the amounts, we can vary the frequencies. Um, also, another thing that's going to be a factor is the, um, that you're going to need to be drinking a certain amount of good quality water during this process because uh, there is going to be some kind of a stress on the liver and on the kidneys and on the organs of elimination, the skin and the lungs. And so uh, many people in the United States or in the Western world are chronically dehydrated. In other words, many people have their taste buds and their thirst mechanisms so entangled that most people don't even really know when they're thirsty anymore. Mm -hmm. They have their desire for taste or for caffeine or sugar so tied up with their thirst mechanism that they've lost touch with how much water they need to be drinking and the amount of good quality water. So that's a big factor as well. So we would work with the water issue. We would help that person to begin to get on some kind of a food at least a couple of times a day that meets the criteria I mentioned earlier. Nutrient, dense, well-balanced, tasty, easy to prepare, low calorie. And, and we would combine it with some kind of a beverage or powder that has a combination of herbs and nutrients in there that actually kind of allows the body to realize, oh, I can handle this cleansing and detoxification process safely and effectively and easily. And if you combine those things, and then for people who are under a lot of stress, we usually add a third type of product that's designed specifically to address the body's ability to handle stress and to balance the endocrine or hormonal system. And those three types of products really create the foundational mm -hmm. pillar of a good nutritional cleansing program combined with the water. Wow. That sounds comp very comprehensive and something that's very manageable. It's not like people that have to go on like the master cleanse or something where yeah. they, they go for 10 days without, it's like part of your routine. Yeah, I find this is very doable and it becomes a lifestyle. You know, one of the things we didn't talk about is uh, that once people reach their goals with how they want their body to look and feel, people can shift from a nutritional cleansing regimen to a, a, a maintenance regimen where they're able to maintain the gains. And that's one of the really nice things about nutritional cleansing is that once, you know, we, I mentioned earlier that feeling of control, that mm -hmm. feeling like you have something to say mm -hmm. about 
your body mm -hmm. and how it is for you to be in your body. Mm -hmm. And that is just so exciting. And especially for like for mothers out there that are really concerned about the health of their families. It's just huge to feel like you have that ability to have that impact. It's just really enormous. You know, it's, it's, it's a game changer. Actually, that's a really good segue to, um, I understand we have some photos of some people who embarked on a nutritional cleansing program for themselves, and they ended up achieving some control. And why don't we put that up on the screen? Yeah, and I then, think that would be great. They're then, actually up on the screen right now. And the thing I want to point out to the viewers who are taking a look at that is that those people you're looking at, I want you to just be with your experience of these people. And I think you'll see that not only is there an enormous visual change in their shape, but if you can kind of relax a little bit more and tune into them on the level of who they are being as a person, I think you can get an appreciation for the fact that nutritional cleansing, even though it's a intervention that occurs at the biochemical level, that it ripples into many, many different levels of who people are as a human being, psychologically, spiritually, in many different ways. If you look at those before and after photographs, you can see that these people aren't just physically different, but who they're being in their body and how they're showing up in their life is really, really different. And then the other thing I want to point out is the fact that these people, once they, once they're, once they had that shift in their energy and in their body shape, they were able to maintain it. So for example, some of the people you're looking at in those photos, it might have taken them a year or two to make the shift, but maybe they maintained that shift for five, six, seven more years. And those of you that have ever been on a diet, you know how dismal the figures are in terms of the odds that you are going to maintain the gains from a diet a year later. I mean, hardly anybody maintains them. But I don't want to go into too much detail, but there's something about the technology of nutritional cleansing where we don't have that rebound phenomena. The body set point doesn't slow down. The muscle mass is retained. The fat burning furnace is still really pumping hard, working hard. The fat burning, we're preferentially burning fat now instead of carbs. And because of the release of the toxins, we're losing a lot of fat and a lot of water and it just works really, really well together. And one of the things that people need to get past if they're gonna try this is that it sounds too good to be true. It's kind of outside <laughs> the box. And even nutritional scientists have had to really take a step back and really reconsider some of their assumptions because the people that you're looking at, most of the men uh, were getting pretty consistent two pound a week weight loss. Most of the women were getting consistent pound and a half a week weight loss, week after week after week, uh, without any loss in lean muscle mass and without any set point reduction in the amount of calories they were burning per hour. So this kind of threw the nutritional world on its head. At first they thought it was impossible, but now there's enough data, enough long-term data, enough large enough sample size that we can't argue with these results anymore. I'm actually curious, a couple of the people on that slide look like they lost a pretty phenomenal amount of weight. And, you know, when you watch like the, about the biggest loser in their after shows, often the people have to have surgery because they've got such hanging skin. Yeah. What happened with these people? Did they need surgery? Most of them didn't, and it's really amazing. I don't know if we know exactly why, but I can like have a hypothesis that the, uh, quality of the connective tissue in the body and is so high when people nutritionally cleanse because the quality of the protein they're taking in, so the amino acid pool that the body can use to make really good collagen and elastic fibers is really high. And then the vitamin C that is involved in this food that's also available for the integrity of the collagen fibers. We don't know exactly why for sure, but all I can tell you is hardly any of these people, even the ones that have lost 100, 150, 200, 250, even 300 pounds, you hardly ever hear of someone that actually needed to go back under the knife. Wow, that's great. Now, what if somebody didn't want to lose weight? What if someone didn't have as a goal to lose weight? They were already fit, they were already healthy, they were already eating well. 
it works great. Even people that want to gain weight, it works great. Because the whole point of nutritional cleansing isn't to force the body to do anything. Mm. I know that's kind of a radical idea. And we could go into that detail. <laughs> we could go into detail about the types of herbs involved and things, but suffice it to say that one of the beauties and power of nutritional cleansing is that it's not trying to force the body to do anything. It's attempting to create a context where the body is empowered to do what it would do if it was empowered. Mm. And so we have hundreds and hundreds of documented cases where people that needed to gain weight, people that wanted to increase their muscle mass did. And we have lots and lots of stories where people's weight stayed the same, but when we measure their percent of body composition, we find there was an enormous difference where lean muscle mass increased dramatically, the amount of water reduced dramatically, the amount of fat, especially visceral fat, reduced dramatically. Uh, in fact, there was a peer-reviewed study that came out in the last six months that showed that the amount of visceral body fat that came off on nutritional cleansing programs uh, was much better than the state-of-the-art gold standard in Western medicine for, um, for healthy diet. That sounds like pretty exciting news. It's really exciting. Yeah, that's very exciting. Now, we're getting to the end of the show, and I'm wondering, is there anything in particular that you feel like would be important for somebody watching this, a, a mother or, or getting ready to close? Okay. Anything? I would say take the next step. Like, I think Maureen's going to give you contact information for to take the next step to just learn more. And just take that next step. It's just a little step. It'll probably be like a phone call or an email. And someone who cares and is passionate about nutritional cleansing will get back to you. Great. Great. Thank you so much. Um, thank you very much for your time today. So I want to thank you very much at home for joining us today on nutritional cleansing, taking a closer look. If you or someone you know is interested in learning more about this, Kathy Bibby or I would be happy to contact you within 24 hours of receiving your contact. And our emails and phone numbers will be listed at the end of the show. I also want to, um, I look forward to talking to you more in the future about other issues. And I would uh, like to welcome you to, the to join us again for the next uh, episode of Doorway. Doorway to Wellness. Thanks so much. <laughs>